Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I am Shravya. Today we are going to make apple rabdi. List of ingredients and quantity required are in the description. But before starting the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now let's get into the content. Heat a pan, add ghee and let it melt. Once the ghee is melted, add finely chopped apple. I like the bite of it in the rabdi. But you can also grate the apple if you want. It's okay even if the apples change their color before you start cooking. They are anyway going to get dark once they are cooked. Cover the pan and let the apples cook. You can see some brown pieces and some white pieces in there, right? You should cook the apples until everything get into one uniform color. At first, they will release water like this and slowly the water gets evaporated. When you leave the apples for some time to cook, it looks like everything is cooked completely. But when you stir into it, the white bit starts appearing. So stir occasionally to make sure everything is uniformly cooked and nothing is getting burnt. After some time, the water will be completely evaporated and there will be no white bits left. At this point, add koa and stir continuously until it melts and completely mixes into the cooked apples. Once the kova is melted, add milk in two batches and let it cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add sweetened condensed milk and let it cook for 5 more minutes. Now add cardamom powder, nuts and mix them. I use almonds, cashews and pistachios. You can use any nuts or dry fruits of your choice. Save some for garnishing. Cook 
Cook for 5 more minutes and your apple rabdi is ready. If you want your rabdi to be more thick, you can cook until you get your desired consistency. You can serve it both hot as well as cold. It's totally up to you. But make sure you top it up with some more nuts just before you serve. Try the recipe and let me know how it tasted. If you like the video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you have any suggestions or video requests, you can always write in the comment section. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.